God for what the Lord God Almighty is doing. If you're watching the program tonight, I just want to encourage you for you to know that he that is in you is greater than what is in the world. And I believe that tonight is going to be an awesome night of God's power and God's grace. I believe that God has something packaged for you and for your entire family. So I want you to get yourself prepared and get yourself connected as we are about to pray and minister the word of God to you. And I'm trusting God that by the time this program is over tonight, you are going to have a testimony. Now the Bible says something that I love so much, it says that we overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the words of our testimonies. And the Bible says, and they did not love themselves unto death. Now, Bible is so specific about how we can overcome. And we can overcome by the words of our testimonies and by the blood of the Lamb, the blood of Jesus. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there is something that God has given to us that must begin to, we must begin to share testimonies about. But one thing is that many Christians we've become a bit naive of what God has given to us. And tonight, I want you to, to get yourself ready to understand some of the things that God has mandate, mandated you as a child of the King, a child of God, to begin to experience and to enjoy them on the planet Earth. Now, when God created Adam and brought Eve out of the ribs of Adam, the Bible says that God gave them mandate. Now, Watch this. That mandate given to Adam and Eve is the same mandate that God is giving to you as a child of God. Because the Bible said that God created you in his own image and in his own likeness. And he gave you power and authority to take dominion. Now, so as a man, there is something that God has given to you that must begin to, 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 to be demonstrated and to change your entire environment. But one way or the other, when you go through things, you feel like everything is gone. There is no hope, and you cannot even, even do what you are called to do or what God has mandated you to do. And I want to encourage you as you're watching this live program that there is still room for you to get back to where God made you and the mandate that God gave to you for you to begin to demonstrate that power. Now, the first Adam lost it 
But the last Adam, Jesus Christ, came to restore. Now, he came to restore with forgiveness, with mercy, and with grace. That is why, according to the Bible, we talk about he came to set a captive free. He came to take the sinners out of sin. He died that people who are under the influence of drugs, of sin, of, 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 of sexual immoralities, of all kind of, all kind of evil influence, he came that we might see the light and come out from darkness to light and begin to experience and demonstrate that power that is given to us. That is why he said, I give unto you power. Then he said, and these signs shall follow them that believe. So tonight, I want you to understand, regardless of what you've gone through, regardless of what you missed, regardless of the messing up that you've gone through in life, and even people have already rejected you, and you feel so dejected, and you feel like there is no hope for you, I want you to understand tonight that God has sent me here as a servant to come and bring back hope that you may stand back to where you were called to do and the purpose of God concerning your life and your destiny. Adam missed it, but Jesus came to restore. The Bible said that God said, whom should I send and who will go? And the Bible said that according to According, according to the scriptures, the heavens went so quiet. Then the Lamb of God came and said, Father, send me and I will go. You see, the benefits of his death might be exercised. But when we, the believers who believe in Jesus, refuse to exercise what is given to us, then we, we will not benefit out of it. And I want somebody watching the program today. It doesn't matter what you've been through in life. It doesn't matter what society is saying about you. It doesn't matter what your friends are saying about you. There is power in the name of Jesus. And that power is here available on this life program to set you free to release you and to bring you back to where God intended for you to be. Maybe you're watching a program and you say, well, man of God, I've missed it. I've made a lot of mistakes. There is no hope for me. I came to challenge you that there is still hope for you. You can come back to Christ and he will accept you and he will make you whole and he will work on you and he will use you for his glory. So don't throw in the towel and don't think that life is gone away, that there is no hope for you. Your sins cannot stop the love of God. Your mistakes and your errors can never stop the abilities and the powers of God. He is still the same yesterday, today, and forever. So I want somebody watching the program tonight. You look at yourself and you feel like, you don't stand any chance anymore. But I want you to understand is that here is love as vast as mighty ocean. The love of God is so huge to welcome you, to hold you, to work on you, to restore you, to break that chain of addiction, to break that chain of sin, to break that chain that is holding you, that is hanging on your neck, that is bringing shame and disgrace and reproach to you. Jesus is ready. He is here today to cause liberty. For the Bible says that the spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me to preach the good tidings. What is the good tidings? The good tidings is about the love of Christ. Regardless of what you've gone through and what you're going through, his love wants to get you closer to himself so that he can restore your life and you shall become a new man. So don't let anything hold you bound. This is, a, this is the hour of your miracle, the hour of your breakthrough. But then you got to come back to him. Let him show you 
That deep love. Let me tell you one thing. We talk about faith. I, I, I love operating in faith. We talk about hope. We talk about everything. But there's one thing that is so huge, that is so powerful, that is the love of God. And I want to show you one thing, that because of his love, you are accepted. You, you just got shot. You say, but man of God, you know, my life is not right. I know I've, I've, I've done a lot of stuff, but I have a very good news for you. The good tidings is to bring restoration of life. I'm going to read for you very soon what we are losing and what God wants us to recover and get it back. I have a call on the line. Hello. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Please, your name, where are you calling from? Uh, hello, Pastor. I'm please. fine, thank you, Pastor. Please, your name, where are you calling from, please? I'm, a, I'm calling from London, Morden. Morden. Yeah. Okay, what do I got to do for you today, please? Uh, 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 yeah, I'm going... I want God to uh, uh, have favor on my life, in my life. And then uh, uh, Monday, I'm going for uh, some operation on my eye, eye, right eye. Okay. They said last uh, last treatment. The left one is not working. Okay. And the right one too is going. They are scared. So I want God to intervene. So that Monday it will be well with me. And also pray for me about poverty and lack and arthritis. Bother me, please. Okay. The, the eye that you're going for a surgical operation, yeah. that eye cannot see. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. Put your hands on that eye, please. Thank you. I'm going to pray for you right now. Thank you. And as I pray for you, the power of God will come over your life. Amen. Then I'll let you close the, 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 the left one. Then you will try to exercise the one that cannot see. Amen. The, 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 the left one, the left one is, is not seen at all. So I'm not using it. So it's the left one that cannot see at all. At all. But the right one is the one that I'll be using. And now okay, then put your hands on the left one, please. Okay. Put your hands on the one that cannot see at all. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. your name carries power. Amen. Therefore, I declare right now by the power of the Holy Ghost, Amen. you eyes that is gone blind, Amen. I command that demonic power behind your blindness Amen. to be cast out now in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. I cast you out now in the name of Jesus. I cast you out now in the name of Jesus. I clean the eyeball. Anything that has gone on that eye that cannot see, I command you to go now. Go now. Go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I open the eyes right now. And I declare that any surgical operation that rather cause worse things I cancel it right now. Amen. I declare your eyes restored. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 You know one thing I want you to do? Amen. I want you to, to, to close the other one. Okay. Then use the one that you were not able to see properly. Mm-hmm. Watch the screen. Are you watching the screen? Yes, I'm watching it. And and Tell me what you, what you can see on the screen. Mm, it's white. white. It's pure white? Yes, pure you white. You can't see any image at all? No, no. So you, you can't see my hands at all? No. Okay, let me pray for you again and pray my second prayer for you. Amen. No, no. Oh, let me pray for you. That, that, I, that I, they put a tube in it. There's a tube in it. Don't worry about the tube. God can create new eyes. Amen. Amen. Have faith Amen. in God. Amen. 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 He can create new Amen. eyes. Amen. And I pray for you, please. What I want to do, when, when are you going to the hospital, please? Uh, uh, Monday. Can you come to church tomorrow? Uh, 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 Monday. I mean, can you come to church tomorrow? I'm going to pray for you for the last time. Mm, 
Can you come to church tomorrow? The other thing is, uh, 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 because of my mobility, I cannot walk. I I have to. Yes, I have to get somebody to bring me there. Yeah, let somebody help you because you're going to hospital. They're going to do a lot of things. It's not bad. But I want to see the power of God. Let me pray for you for the last time. Okay? Because I believe that God's power is available to heal you. Amen. Father, I pray right now. I command, put your hands on the eyes again. Yes. I command that eyes right now. Amen. Any tube, anything they've connected to the eye. Mm-hmm. I declare the creative power of God Amen. on the eye. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I declare the hand of God Amen. over that eye. Amen. And I command that eye to be restored. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I also pray for the arthritis. Amen. I cancel that arthritis. And I declare the supernatural power of God Amen. Amen. to come over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I call it an amen. Amen. Now, the the pastor. Yes, madam. uh, The the right one, the right one is what they are going to uh, attend to on Monday. So, which one cannot see? Uh, the, uh, The left one cannot see at all, so I'm not using it. But the right one, who is also going down. That's mm-hmm. what they are going to. Don't worry, I've prayed for you. But you can see with the right one. Yes. Or I've prayed yes. for you. And I'm praying that they will not touch the eyes. Amen. But God's supernatural power will visit Amen. your life. Amen. God bless you. Amen. If you can try and come tomorrow, I'll be happy to see you in person and lay my hands on you. Sometimes very important of laying of hands and you'll see the power of God. Amen. God bless you, madam. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Now, so... Adam lost it. Ladies and gentlemen, God is restoring his power of healing, miracles, and signs and wonders. And I want you to understand that regardless of what you've been through in life, he's ever ready to restore your life. Hello? Hello. How are you? I'm fine, and you? Good, by the grace of God. Please, your name, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Scotland. From Scotland? Yes. Where in Scotland, please? Aberdeenshire. Abadinsha, okay. What do you want God to do for you? I'm, I'm not feeling very well. I'm sick and my son is sick. And my other son has asthma. But I think my sickness is coming from spirit of fear. All right. So you're not feeling well at all? No. Okay, let me pray for you right now. Mm. Father God, I pray <laughs> for your daughter. Anything that is causing her not to feel well,